And when we look at structures and implicit bias, we're looking at these things in relationship. So the 15% is in relationship to the 85%. Uh, but the 15%, the people who send their kids to the elite schools, also are the, the parents who tell the story. They create the dominant narrative. They create the narrative that schools are basically OK. And, so, and then the kids who go into the 85% get labeled as failing kids who can't learn, who won't learn, who are knuckleheads. Uh, and then when I succeed and get to go to Stanford, I want to think it's because I was smart, not because I lived and, to, and, and had access to a rich opportunity structure, but because I was smart. And if you didn't go to Stanford or didn't graduate from high school or went to the community college, it must be because, not because you were on a down escalator, but because you simply were not as smart. Uh, and so this whole thing gets explained in terms of individuals and the structure and the implicit stories associated with the structures disappear. Uh, and that's the whole st the discussion around merit, where he deserved what he got. All of us deserve what we get. Uh, and so then how do we explain all those people that are in prison? We explain it by them being criminals. 80% of the, the increase in incarceration in the United States since the 1980s is related to the war on drugs. The use of drugs in the United States has not gone up. It's actually gone down. And African Americans and Latinos use drugs at the same rate as whites. So, but instead of saying there's something about our society that's incarcerating and controlling people based on race, we explain in terms of those people are criminals. That's why we're locking them up. Uh, and, and, and that's not the, the story at all. <laughs>